My name is Travis Smith. I'm a security researcher here with Tripwire, and today I want to talk about fileless malware, and is it really fileless? The concept of fileless malware is really malware that is running only in memory, right? So there's no artifacts that are left on the endpoint that you can detect with traditional, you know, file type based tools, right? So, but the problem with this is that it, the most malware wants to be persistent, right? The malware doesn't want to just be they run and then as soon as you, you know, shut down your computer or you reboot, it's gone and they don't have that way in, right? An attacker wants to be able to always be able to get into your, your system if they've already gotten that level of access again. They don't want to make a bunch of noise trying to get back in and doing exploits and all this other kind of stuff. All right, so there's a couple different ways that they can get right back into your system. Uh, one is that it's some type of remote exploit, uh, exploitable system or a flaw that you have on your system that a different machine has that level of access that's then, you know, attacking from one system all the way to your system over the network, right? So then that's, you know, fileless to the, the one network that you have there. But if you're inspecting both systems, the other system is going to have that level of access as well. And they most likely have some type of, uh, you know, a piece of malware or something that's on there that you're going to be able to detect. Other fileless malware is things that they may not have a, an executable on disk, but they have other things that are on disk that you can be able to find. All right, so you can have things that have services that are created that, you know, upon the service that's ran, maybe it's ran on boot up or whenever any, somebody logs in, it's then going to download that new piece of malware and run it on the machine, right? So it is fileless, meaning that there's no piece of malware that's running on the machine, but there's something that's changed on the endpoint, right? So different services that are created, registry keys might be get, getting created, all these different things that are uh, changing on the endpoint that you can then see. So is file is malware really fileless? Well, it might not be running a file, but there's changes that are happening on the endpoint that you need to be defining.